What's up YouTube? Welcome to the Aviators. So I did this video uh, last week when I flew into a bunch of birds and um, the one thing I left off that video was pictures of the plane and I don't honestly know why I did that. I was I got back to the hangar, I saw where the birds had hit, I cleaned it off real quick and did my thing and so anyways today I'm going to show you what it looks like when a bird hits your airplane. Stay with us. So it's a crazy thing. Um, first thing. So I'm like totally anal about keeping my airplanes clean. I mean, I've done videos on cleaning airplanes and, and I just, I, I'm compelled to keep my airplanes clean and people like tease me about it unmercifully. And I'm, I'm cool with that. I mean, a lot of my personality could use some teasing. So anyways, um, the biggest reason why I keep my airplanes clean is because if something like that happens or, you know, you get progressive oil leaks or progressive fuel leaks, if your airplane's covered in bugs, and it's bug season right now, if it's covered in bugs, you'll tend not to see that stuff because the airplane's just so dirty. If the bottom is black from grease, how are you going to know if you have a progressive oil leak or something like that? Well, I know every inch of this plane because I clean it every time I fly. I clean the bottom, I clean the wings, I clean everything off, and, and the next time I fly, it's a perfectly clean airplane. And like I said, people make fun of me about it, but I'm totally good with it. So part of that is when I smacked into those birds, and I think I hit four of them, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm going to show you the, you know, the, the spots on the airplane that are different than the previous time I cleaned it, which was the previous flight. So uh, let me show you. Uh, the the marks and you guys can all leave comments and stuff like that and tell me what you think but overall I got really really lucky that they weren't bigger birds we get these little black birds and they're you know about that big and and you know hundreds of them fly around at a time and so I think I literally just flew through one of those little flocks of birds but anyways I'm gonna show you right now um, what happened to the airplane okay so the first mark is right here on the tip of the wing and it's just a, you know, it's about the size of my thumb and the paint's gone and you can feel it kind of gouged into the paint. And, you know, those birds are probably only a couple of ounces each, but um, I could definitely feel the impacts um, of the birds. And so coming down the plane, there was no real damage on the wings, on the uh, wheel pants, other than the front wheel pant. Now, if I hadn't cleaned this airplane, you know, so many times, I wouldn't even notice this. Um, so I think a bird hit right here, and I think a second one hit right here, where that paint's gone. And the light's actually pretty good right now, uh, so you can see those, those nicks. So I think I hit two birds right here on this front wheel pant. And then, this is a big question mark for me. There are a good, there's a good 12 to 14 inches of paint chips right here, right, right next to this air intake. And you know, when I looked back at the video, you could see that I was looking at my engine uh, gauge a lot. And the reason why I was doing that was I wanted to make sure there wasn't a bird, you know, crammed up into a cylinder making a hot spot on it or something. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking this is one, maybe two birds. I'm thinking this is one or two birds. And I'm thinking this mark right here is one bird. So overall, I think, you know, the plane is undamaged. A little scratch paint is just a little scratch paint. But you all know me and I'm gonna have to fix it. I can't help myself. The really interesting thing about this bird strike is at least two birds went through the prop, I think. <laughs> it's one of those things that I never even saw them. Even in the video, I couldn't see them, but I could feel the definite buffet of the airplane when it happened. And part of that is because I was I was moving. I'm, I was just throttling up to uh, you know to start uh, you know, checking for wind leaks around the uh, canopy. And so I think I was wide open throttle when I made the turn and, and hit them. So there's that. 
Uh, but the interesting thing I was saying, they went through the prop. Now let me show you. So this prop is carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber Sensenek prop. And there is not one nick or scratch on this prop. And it was covered in, in blood. You know, so I definitely chopped some up. Um, but like I said, there is not one nick on that nickel leading edge. There's not one uh, scratch in the, in the paint. It's still kind of a mirror surface. And so I'm really, really impressed with that. I, I never would have guessed um, that the prop would, you know, mince through some birds and, and not be at least scratched a little bit. But uh, the backside, uh, I don't do a good job of cleaning the back, but the back's the same, you know. It's uh, on both sides. You can tell that, uh, or you can't tell that, that I, uh, I flew through anything. There's a little bit of paint missing right here on the back side, the back edge of the prop. But that's been there. I mean, I, I kind of look at that every time I clean the prop. And so it's, uh, it's a crazy thing. Uh, windows nice and clean. You know, everything else on the plane looks, looks perfect. I checked the, uh, the tail of the airplane and it was, it was fine. No marks, no nicks, no missing paint, no anything. So it's a crazy thing. And I'm sorry I didn't, uh, you know, take some video right when it happened to see the guts and gore of it. <laughs> People wanted to see that and I didn't even think about it. So, uh, bad on me, but next, hopefully there's not a next time. Um, anyways, uh, that's kind of uh, what happened, and and I'm feeling like uh, pretty lucky. I feel like uh, you know all's well that ends well, and uh, you know the plane can be you know the paint can be fixed, touched up. I don't. I'm not sure. I'll probably do another video on how I fix the paint from a bird strike. But anyways, uh, carbon prop, good stuff. You know, if you're having second thoughts about a carbon prop, I love this prop. It's light. It's you know, the airplane cruises a lot faster than with the uh, aluminum one I had on there. So I'm sorry I didn't include that footage in the, uh, in the last video, but there you have it. And uh, always a good reason to clean your airplane. All right, if you like this sort of thing, like, subscribe, comment. Till next time.